we're bloody lucky to have a bona fide expert like you around. So maybe you might be able to help us out with this one. The other day, my missus read something in the newspaper about a saltwater crocodile causing mayhem and understandably making people nervous. It also had a map of the salty sightings. Maybe that article's a good place to start. Here's where you'll find it. In Australia, people will love to tell you stories about animals. The animals even get nicknames. Uh, then it becomes part of a local furphy. Yeah, nah, the stories aren't just a furphy. Well, most of the time. After all, this Stevie story started from a few bloody real incidents. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago. If you haven't already encountered one, the salties are more aggressive and dangerous than, say, alligators. A lot more. And sometimes you get one that's even more territorial and starts venturing outside its natural habitat, or like Stevie. Robbo's not the type to big up himself, but he's our local salty hunter, a true blue expert. Yeah, I was the one who caught Stevie back then. That was fully sick. But now... It sounds like Stevie had a hidden son or something, and it wants to avenge his daddy. You found the article? Sweet as. So where did they say the salty sightings were? Righto, gotcha. Then let's tag those areas in your hunter, mate, and go check it out. Hey, Soph, you're getting a present too, you know. Blimey. So when do I get it? Soon. Our friend here kindly agreed to drop it off next time they're at your station. That's all right. Oh, mate, thank you. Can't wait to see if you went for silly but fun or so bad it's good this year. Maybe you'll need to come up with a new category for this one. Who knows? Now that's interesting. Let me know when I'm allowed to see it, then. So, do you feel ready to take on Salties? You know the drill. Prepare yourself well, make sure you have all the right gear. Not only that, but also take the time to observe the environment and study their behaviour in various situations. It took you years of learning, both theoretical and on the job, Robo, didn't it? Too true, and I had my fair share of close calls. Even when you're an expert, things can go bloody bad, bloody fast. But you're a pro hunter, so I know it'll come good. So good luck, mate. Good on you. Then try to look for any traces of a salty's presence. Could be tracks or just brecky leftovers. That's the work of a salty. Hmm. It's not usually their territory. We'll need to deal with this. Great. Now you're there, one way to investigate would be to look for evidence of the damage they cause. Carcasses, for instance. That's what I feared. It's not common for a salty to go all the way out there. Well, that's all we had planned to introduce you to your assignment with us. But as you can see, there's no shortage of things to do. Keep up the good work, mate. But don't pull a robo. Make sure you enjoy yourself too, okay? 
speaking of which, why don't you all come over for tea this weekend? Oh, absolutely. Oh, that way our friend here can meet our families. We'll have a couple of coldies. We'll have a great time. I've still got a couple of your fancy craft beers in the esky, so I reckon we're covered. <laughs>